Yo, yo, dude, what, what the f what the f are you doing? You have so much sh to do. Yo, look at this. Look at this. Sh All this sh is shit you have to do. What are you doing? I'm sick. That's not an excuse. I'll do it later, okay? Later in the sub. I will do it, okay? <coughs> oh, f oh, my God. Oh, my God. And with that intro over, let's talk about what I'm actually drawing here. Yay. So, I had a New Year's resolution in 2022 to draw Mermaid. I have always wanted to participate in Mermaid, uh, but I haven't never had. Not in, not in the sense of, you know, drawing a mermaid every single day for May, which is what mermaid is, if you didn't know. You draw a mermaid to a certain theme every day of May. It's really cute and I love it. Then May came and I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do this. I don't have the time, I don't have the energy, I'm a sad being, I'm not gonna do this. So I didn't. I did a few mermaids that I actually posted uh, on my YouTube channel. So if you wonder what those were, yeah, that was mermaid for 2022. But then November came in November and I just had this brilliant idea like I usually have that hmm, I could mix these two together and actually do mermaids to November because November doesn't have a theme. It's just, you know, you draw in a hue. Perfect. I'm a genius. I will do this. And now here's the problem. My arm <laughs> is really, really, really tired from drawing with a mouse. I cannot do that anymore. It's taken such a toll on my arm that I no longer can do it. It's hurting too much and I will ruin my arm before I'm 30 if I'm gonna keep this up. And I do have a tablet now. Hooray! The problem with the tablet is that I'm not used to drawing with the tablet. So the first three or two paintings in this whole wonderful video uh, are made with the tablet because my original idea was to do, you know, practicing the tablet and drawing with the tablet and lovely, lovely, lovely woo. But my arm was already tired. And it got even more tired when I used the tablet because it wasn't used to working with a tablet. So I had to pause. But then I came up with a brilliant idea to draw sketches for the mermaids by hand, traditionally, which is what I'm good at. I'm really good at drawing traditionally because there's no fucking mouse there to click and click and click. So that's what I did. And I started that project and that idea in the middle of December, right before I got sick. Yeah, I'm, I was very late for this project overall. It's it's a mess. I had all the sketches done in some time in January, like two weeks into January. So that's when I started to color them in Photoshop for this project. And that took forever because I had to color them with my hand because coloring them with the tablet would have taken too long and I just wanted to be done with this goddamn product, yes. Now, don't be alarmed by the quality of some of these. I always use challenges like Huvember or Inktober or Mermaid as a chance to explore and try new things, but also to practice what I already know. And this mermaid got very much, you know, lights and shadows practice for me, which is great because I always need to practice. These aren't like the best I can do. Some of these aren't even good. I'm really not happy with most of these, but they are still a very good practice for me because when I did them, I was really focused on, okay, how can I take this half shitty <laughs> sketch and try to make it look good? And some of these are I'm really happy with, actually. Uh, and some of them are just, nah. But I wanted to mention that so that you don't look at this and go, wow, you're really lacking suddenly in drawing. <laughs> I know these are pretty lacking, but my challenge was to get the challenge done of Mer May and November, Mervember, May Mer you whatever. I wanted to get a channel done. That was my goal. My goal wasn't to make the most beautiful pieces of mermaid art you've ever seen. I'm not Disney, okay.
And can I just add... <laughs> Shut up! Can I just add really quickly that it feels so freaking good to do Huvember without doing 52 paintings and, you know, just doing the regular 30 or, you know, 31. It... Ah, it's... It's amazing! <laughs> I will never ever do a project like the one I did last year again. I say that now. Watch me like in a year when I try to do another <sighs> project like that or another hundred theme challenge. I love doing those challenges when I start doing them. It's like, yeah, this challenge will be so good and I will experiment a lot and I will get so much better and when I you know, when I'm done, I'm gonna look back and be like, oh yeah, I learned so much because I do! That's the bad thing! Or not bad thing, but that's the... Uh, I do learn a lot when I do those huge challenges, but... Ooh, to be, min in, to be in the middle of a hundred theme challenge or similar and just looking at all this shit you have to do and not feeling that you can't draw anything else, really, until you're done with what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it's ugh, it's the worst feeling in the world. It feels very good when it's done, but mm, in between beginning and end, it's it's awful. I don't know why I keep doing it to myself. And that was my uh, 100 theme challenge rant for this year. <laughs> yes, I need to do one of them sooner or later. Anyway, back to mermaids. This one is probably one of my favorite sketches. Uh, red really didn't suit it at all. <laughs> I wish I could have used it in like blue or similar, but no, I was determined to use the right mermaid on the right theme on the right color. So yeah, red did this, but it's really cute. I love the manatee. It's probably the wrong size, but I don't care. It's really cute. Um, and this one is also really fun. I wanted to experiment a little bit with, you know, style, <laughs> not too much, because if I experiment too much, it will get out of hand and I will lose the plot and I will have a horrible drawing that I don't like and suddenly I've wasted like five hours on it, so... But uh, this one was... it was fun! I liked... I like... I like it! It reminded me a lot of art I used to do in like 2017. I had a huge period of my life where I did, you know, MS Paint inspired art and I really miss doing that so I want to get back to that a bit this year. Um, as I'm also want, I also want to practice, you know, with watercolors and doing amazing illustrations uh, with traditional art, but at the same time I want to experiment with like paint or like MS Paint inspired art and really huge bright colors because I miss that and I'm, I need <laughs> bright colors in my life so yeah um, this one was mermaids and I had no idea what mermaids was and I decided to not look it up but instead take it literally so it's a mermaid she has a maze like gaze and yeah <laughs> that was that was that I am very smart <laughs> This one is probably one of my favorite sketches as well. I was really happy with it. It's so simple, but you know, still catch the theme. Very good. Uh, the bad thing <laughs> with the finished piece is that her tattoos on her arms are supposed to look like, you know, glowing tattoos, but because of the color <laughs> I had to use and because I didn't think when I painted it, it sort of looked like scars, bleeding scars. <laughs> Don't... yeah, it's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be tattoos, okay? <laughs> Trust me. <laughs>
I've come to realize that I've been, you know, it's hard to explain this one, but I have gone so long without actively practicing art, um, as in studying anatomy and sketching things that I find hard, etc., etc. I've been just I've just been painting things that I like painting and stuff that I uh, yeah stuff that I like to paint because I'm seeming good at it and I find joy in it and that alone has improved my art on a ridiculous level in 2022 uh, in things like I didn't even realize until I started doing these mermaids and just you know, look through my sketchbook, and it's not only sketches, it's also paint. Uh, maybe not uh, digital paint, because I honestly, I didn't see a lot of improvement in this one compared to like the November project I did last year in 2021, uh, unfortunately, but it's okay, because I can see myself improving on so many other things, and you really don't have to improve at everything all the time. It's okay if you're stuck somewhere as long as you're improving somewhere else, you know? So my digital art may still be lacking because it's always been the most hardest thing for me um, to paint digitally. It's always been my Achilles heel uh, and probably always will be unless I take a quick super course in it and just paint and practice that for like two months or a year or so. But the thing that I am pretty good at, or rather I should say the thing that I find easier, uh, you know, sketches by hand, traditional sketches, drawing traditionally, link, uh, link, <laughs> ink, <laughs> I was supposed to say, ink and inking and doing, uh, line art, traditional line art, and watercolor as well. I haven't been actively practicing watercolor, but I have improved in a ridiculous amount. And I get a bit jealous of myself, because I wish I could improve that quickly with the digital, but I can't. It's such a difference in drawing my shit with watercolor and trying to do the same thing in Photoshop. I just can't and I don't know if it's because I'm drawing with a mouse or because I'm impatient more when it comes to digital or because digital art you can do you can do <laughs> you can do so much in Photoshop and with digital art that it gives me too many options and I get you know I, I, I don't know what to do with all this information and suddenly I get lost and just do the bare minimum. Because that's what I did with all these mermaid pieces. I just, yeah, shadows, yeah, highlights, yeah, that's good, yeah, contrast, yeah, perfect, done, on to the next one. Um, whilst if I would have done this in, you know, watercolor, for example, I would have come up with so much more fun, experiments and different ways to tackle the project. Is there, I just find it interesting that there's it's just a difference between art and art and it's such a difference between how I tackle art and how I learn. It's, I obviously learn so much more with using my hands than using my eyes and even though I have to use my brain just as much with both it's still such a difference. I think it's really cool how the brain works that way. Um, and maybe you have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about and that's totally okay. I just, I realized that now as I was looking at myself painting these, uh, because I was, and because I was so unhappy with this project, I was close to canceling this project like two or three times because I was not happy with the paintings I did and I wasn't happy with the sketches. I wasn't happy with anything and it was very late. So I was like, what's the point? But the point is that I can see myself getting better in the sketches. <laughs> Even though these are lacking, I can still see it and I could feel it when I was painting. And I want to keep that memory intact. So that's why I finished this project. Because yeah, I may not be super duper happy with all of the finished results in this 
Mer May Huber project, but they were still a part of me realizing that I have improved, which is always something that you should, you know, it's good. It's a good. It's a good thing. It's always something you should appreciate about yourself. I know I'm just rambling, so I'm gonna be quiet for a while. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh. By the way, this theme was social butterfly and my millennium brain <laughs> immediately went to, oh, social media. So that's why she's using some sort of underwater mermaid iPhone technology that shouldn't work in real life. But it's magic and fantasy, okay? was around the point when I started to realize that, oh, okay, I'm actually improving somewhat, somewhere, <laughs> because the, the finished paintings suddenly became much more... Um, I, had, I had a bigger appreciation for them than I did, you know, for many of the ones in the beginning of the video of the challenge. Uh, like this twice ponytail thingy. I thought it was really cute in the end and I really like the, you know, the ponytails and the shining and how happy she is and yeah. <laughs> it's fun how you can improve without knowing you're improving and just realizing in the middle of the challenge that oh, ooh, Wait, I can do this much easier now. Ooh, this looks, mu looks so much better than if I would have done this a month ago. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I also want to talk about this one for a little bit. The theme was eth ethnic. I can't even pronounce that word. Uh, and my mind immediately went to like taking where I come from, the clothes, yeah, the clothes of Blekinge, which is the county I live in, in south of Sweden, because I love those clothes. And to top it off, I gave the character a uh, people on stocking hair, because yeah. Sweden represents in some way. I don't know. <laughs> and all I could think about was, oh, that poor, poor direct, that poor, those poor clothes in water. It must be so heavy. <laughs>
here we are at the last painting and just like last year's Huvember challenge I put a little bit more effort into this one um, the sketch came out really good uh, surprisingly good actually so I decided to just you know put a little more effort into it I just said that <laughs> but yeah so it took a little bit longer time um, because I didn't want to stress, I felt like, yes, this is the last one, I can relax now. It's almost done. And I think that helped. <laughs> to not stress through the painting is a really good thing. I, st I think I stressed through many of these paintings in this challenge, um, way more than I'd like to admit. <laughs> that could be a very, you know, huge factor to why they are lackluster in quality. Because I stressed through them, because I felt like I wanted to just be done with this challenge. So yeah, this painting also has a bit of a history, you know? She's getting a potion, but is it a good potion? She believes it is, but is it really? Or is it poison? Ooh, spooky, so much mystery and backstory, oh no. <laughs> And that was that. Oh, I'm finally done with this project. It feels like I've been working on it forever. I am so happy and glad to finally be done with this project. You have no idea. Ah. Thank you so much if you decided to watch this to the end. I love you. I love you even if you didn't watch it to the end, but then you wouldn't hear this, so that's sad. Um. I will be uploading relatively soon again. I have some videos I'm gonna upload on my Sweetest uh, channel first. But after that, I will be working hard on this channel. Uh, I have so many ideas and so many projects that I really want to be done with. And it will be so much fun. So I hope you're ready for this year because, by God, I will not let this be another lazy year <laughs> with long hiatus on my channel yeah thank you so much for watching yet again please take care of yourself and your family and your friends and i will see you in the next video which will come up relatively soon <laughs> yay take care bye bye